So I'm welcome everyone. Should I start? Wait a little bit. Yep, you're good to start. Okay. Okay, today we're doing a few more books for Ramadan story time. So we'll start with Ilyas and Duck, Ramadan Joy by Umar Hawaja. Ilyas and Duck, Duck stood at the edge of town, patiently watching the setting sun. Then the moon appeared and Ilyas said with cheer, look duck, up there I see the crescent moon. And just like that, the month of Ramadan had begun. The joy of Ramadan spread quickly throughout the town with festive decorations and lanterns abound. The smell of treats spilled into the streets as the baker prepared sahur. The last meal before the daytime fast that is so important to eat. Then morning came and the sun was out. Duck, wait, Elias had to shout. The sun is still up, let's not forget. Don't break your fast, at least not yet. When can I eat, when the sun sets? Can I have something to drink? Not quite yet. No food, no drink, not even a sip or a crumb. Oh, this is hard. What's the point? Where's the fun? Fasting is not meant to be easy. It can leave your belly empty and grumbling inside. But no, this feeling is just Allah's way of feeding goodness to your body and mind. Goodness like compassion to care for the less fortunate, empathy to feel the hunger they often do, gratitude to appreciate all the blessings you have, and a reminder of just how fragile you are and that it's Allah who provides for you. Fasting is a chance to nourish your soul and your relationship with Allah and your community too. It's a chance to practice self-discipline and restraint and build confidence in all that you do. Oh, and so the hours in the day slowly ticked away. Ring, sound of the bells and the alarm clock. The sun has set, it's time for a star. They broke their fast for just a few dates. They drank water, prayed, and then they ate. They met friends and family all around town and all around town not a frown could be found. That is until they reached the other end of town. Because at the other end of town on top of a hill lived a man who was rarely ever seen. No one really knew who he was and no one knew his real name, but they all knew him as menacing Mr. Me. Oh, I'm not fond of this month, Ramadan. For 30 days, the kids are so well behaved. For 30 days, all their bad deeds are gone. Everyone is so kind. They give extra charity and stuff. How will I ever stand all this goodness for 30 long days? I know, I will spoil, spoil Ramadan. I've had enough. I'll cover entire neighborhoods with my medicine spray so kids continue to play even when it's time to pray. I will bake mouth-watering cookies and place them all around so kids are tempted to break their fast even before the sun goes down. I will spread rumors, encourage gossip, and hope kids make promises they cannot keep. Yes, this is how I will spoil Ramadan and make it what's not meant to be. Oh no, exclaimed Elias, Mr. Me is up to no good. Follow me, we must save the neighborhood. Stop right there, Mr. Mean. It's Sheriff Ilyas and Deputy Duck. We heard that you're up. We heard what you're up to. Your time is up. You will never catch me. Hmm, where can he be? I think he got away. Mr. Mean got away, but it's a good thing he's gone because there's no room for meanness, only goodness in Ramadan. And when a good deed is done, the reward for it is multiplied. Not just once or twice, not three times nor four, but many, 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 many times more. Good deeds ahead. As the days of Ramadan passed one by one, each day's fast helped to improve everyone. There was increased patience, better health, and improved habits that were quite clear. Indeed, each day was a chance to practice all these things. 
and carry better habits throughout the rest of the year. So for the remainder of the month, in the last 10 days, Ilyas and Duck looked forward to the rising sun. While they were thankful for the joy from the Ramadan days that passed, they were especially excited for all the blessings to come. Ramadan Mubarak, have a blessed Ramadan. The end. Yay. Okay, let's see what the next book is. Like the Moon Loves the Sky by Hina Khan, illustrated by Safa Khan. Okay. Inshallah, you are all that is gentle and good. There's a new baby, Bismillah. Inshallah, you feel safe like all children should. Inshallah, you are kind to those most in need. Inshallah, you seek knowledge, reflect, and read. Inshallah, you stand strong like a tree with firm roots. Inshallah, you plant gardens filled with sweet fruits. Inshallah, you have faith that won't waver or bend. Inshallah, you reach out to make a new friend. Inshallah, you are thoughtful of plans that you make. Inshallah, you speak truth and work for its sake. Inshallah, you travel to thrilling new places. Inshallah, you count all your blessings and graces. Inshallah, you find wonder in birds as they fly. Inshallah, you are loved like the moon loves the sky. The end. The end. <laughs> Yay. Do you like that book? <laughs> okay. One more book. Let's see. We are water protectors. By Carol Lindstrom, and illustrated by Michaela Doge. Water is the first medicine, Nokomis told me. We come from water. It nourished us inside our mother's body as it nourishes us here on mother earth. Water is sacred, she said. See the baby in the body? We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. The river's rhythm runs through my veins runs through my people's veins. My people talk of, black, of a black snake that will destroy the land. Oh no. Spoil the water, poison plants and animals, wreck everything in its path. When my people first spoke, of the black snake, they foretold that it wouldn't come for many, many years. 
Now the black snake is here. Its venom burns the land, courses through the water, making it unfit to drink. Take courage, I must keep the black snake away from my village's water. I must rally my people together. To stand for the water, to stand for the land, to stand as one against the black snake. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. It will not be easy. We fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. The winged ones, the crawling ones, the four-legged and the two-legged, the plants, the trees, the rivers, the lakes, the earth. We are all related. Tears like waterfalls stream down, down my face, tracks down my people's faces. Water has its own spirit, Nokomis told me. Water is alive. Water remembers our ancestors who came before us, she said. We stand with our song, songs and our drums. We are still here. We are stewards of the earth. Our spirits have not been broken. We are water protectors. We stand. Water is life. The black snake is in for the fight of its life. Protect the sacred. The end. The end. The end. What was your favorite book? Let's see which oh. which one is your favorite. The other, and the and the one and the which one? The, the, end. End. the last one. The last one. The water one. And that and one. And Elias and Duck. Yeah. yeah. This is a new book for me. I never read this one before. The water protectors. Moon. What? Moon. Moon. Yeah. What do you guys? Yeah. Oh, you have that book too. One yeah. more book. Yeah. Uh huh. <gasps> See, uh, Oh, what do I have any more books? Not today. <laughs> we have one more week. Inshallah, next Saturday, uh, Walia returns to read a few more books. So we'll be back here next Saturday, Inshallah, 11 a.m. What do you guys say? You guys say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, loudly. Say, come here and say. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Love it. You're welcome. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay. Assalamu alaikum.